hi everyone welcome back uh, in this video uh, I will just this is uh, there will be one more video but in this video I will show how to training how to get your weight files and lastly we get the images and the labels from the open images data set also you maybe in your case you already get these labels and images according to your effort with uh, you labeled already or you have already in your site uh, labeled images so in this video we will simply i will simply show you how to train this how to train this data uh, via on yolo and in here the tool we will use is the darknet and already i uh, before i i made a simple video how to install darknet and in this video also we will use darknet to uh, to train our data okay what does uh, we will I, I need to talk before starting uh, first of all the make file because in the previous video I already made make but in this video if you have already GPU in your local in your local computer uh, I suggest you to make this GPU and could and uh, flex as one OpenCV is not really important because we are not working with OpenCV for now and you just need to uh, change this flex to 1 maybe in your case because default these are zeros and on the other hand to be able to use GPU and CUDA first of all you need to install CUDA and CUDA uh, if your GPU is capable by CUDA you need to install that in the previous videos also I showed how to install CUDA and CUDA this is very important but if you don't have GPU also and you really need to uh, train this data while uh, on your local so nothing to do you need to use your CPU and you need to make this flex as zero uh, this is very important part in here any change any change you any update you did in this file after this you need to reinstall remake the darknet which is just opening a terminal and make in here again this is very important anything any update you did here you after this you need to remake the darknet don't forget this part this is very important uh, since I have CUDA and CUDA capable GPU and also CUDA NAND I made this flex one uh, if you train your data for example if you talk about the, these dolphins which is including uh, almost 900 images uh, this will take approximately three or four hours this is in other things also uh, if we uh, wanna do in this kind of number uh, we will it will take three or four hours to get uh, some weights uh, I will talk about the iterations also how many iteration we can get uh, until one does until five five weight files we can get in three hours but uh, if you work in the CPU if you run this training in CPU uh, I didn't try try but uh, maybe I, I'm just this is just estimation of mine and it will take maybe long time one day two days like that okay uh, maybe as uh, the people don't have uh, GPU maybe in the one more video I will make and I will talk about uh, how to train it in Google Colab which is the which has the Google GPUs free GPUs and maybe I will show in that part also okay this is like that don't forget nothing to change in here just this part very important I'm passing okay sorry for talking much and in here uh, one more uh, in, during training uh, I will use this convolution layers uh, which is uh, this is not default coming in darknet yeah you need to download it by uh, let me copy paste here not, uh, I already don't do this you need to from darknet uh, you need to uh, uh, download this darknet you need to get this file I will copy paste this to the description and you can download this to this file and one more thing which is more also very important in here this is uh, you don't need to remake again just change this part which is in detector in this is the suggestion of the Satya Malik which is uh, CEO of the OpenCV org 
and he suggesting to make in here uh, decreasing these iterations because otherwise it's take long time and he in his articles I read is not really necessary it just make the time longer okay just make this changement and save uh, as I said you don't need to remake after this uh, changement and this is also done you get this also everything fine in here let's pass on the this part uh, in here after you get your images and labels what to do next uh, there is a darknet data in here and configuration file in here which is uh, we, we didn't talk before I just copy paste here what is uh, darknet data uh, is actually in here for example in darknet file there is an example of uh, data file in here we are just giving the path of the training uh, which is including the path of the images in a tech txt file and also valid uh, uh, valid is the test test images we need to split our all images uh, maybe 10 percentage of them to the test images and 80 90 percentage of them to the train images so we need to split them i will show that now also and names uh, not really important you are just giving to the uh, which is including the names of your target images to train and backup is the uh, folder which is uh, where to save the backup file uh, this is needed because uh, if you're during your training process if something occur for example uh, simply if your electricity is off then this backup file you can restart from the where you stopped your training and it will continue on that part that's why this is also important and uh, this is also similar to that one I didn't feel this part because I did not yet create that I will fill this part and configuration file also similar to the in here uh, there is some configuration file there are many uh, parameters in here I also don't know really detail if people really uh, people really is uh, curious about them they can search it but the most important part I will talk in here there is batch in this file batch parameter is the most important one because the mostly the biggest problems came up with this parameter uh, only in the beginning you need to change in mine is 16 but 16 is not suggested uh, the the re, uh, which you need uh, if if you want to really get the good results this is suggested to be 64 uh, batch batch sub size is important to about the about about the accuracy of your results yeah it suggests as i said this is need to be 64 but if you get a error during your training like out of memory because i get that error before uh, maybe you need to restart first of all try a couple of time after you get error and terminal uh, crash then you need to restart your terminal your process couple of time try maybe it will continue but if you continue to get the same error then restart your computer and try again but if the worst case if it does not work try to decrease your batch looks like for example 32 and if also the same steps do for, for this one and if still crash make it 16 I'm sure in 16 will be work will be working because even the worst GPU is okay for this size uh, let's for me 32 is okay and also this uh, you can change these parameters this is also if your GPU is really good you can change these things to maybe 600 egg 600 eggs and 600 egg you can change but both of these should be same and you cannot give random numbers to these ones and yeah we talked I think a bit at all let's save this then next step uh, we need to create our uh, train and test test uh, files for example let's first of all dolphin or test dolphin test file of dolphin dot txt and one more is the train part of the why we need this uh, because during training uh, 
after doing some iterations it will try the it will try the model so it will check with the test part and with the train bot will train and after done some model inside of that it will uh, test the model with this part how to fill this fill this uh, is suggested by experts they are saying 10% uh, of your data set uh, is okay to fill with that um, for example 3 4 5 I will take approximately maybe 8 is okay for me. Let me count again 5, 10, 15, 3, 4, 5. Maybe this is enough. 75 images. I'm copying this to let's back to here to test part 10 percentage of the images to the test part. I'm just copy it and paste, save, and the rest of images to the train part. Just choose add all, done, and this is copied to the train part. Yes, done. And let me check the number of lines. 811, and this is need to be, this should be 70 something. This is okay. And what is next? This is darknet data file, and in here we need to put a uh, train pad which is uh, just has the it didn't talk maybe it has the pad of the each image in this part just giving to the pad of this then uh, we need to give uh, including the images pads file which is txt file just copy paste here same for the test which is valid copy it here names also we need to create names okay touch classes dot names this is not really important maybe you can delete it this need to be dolphin okay and give this pet to here also backup let's make backup folder the same folder which is training without slash okay so backup also will be saved in here this is done what is next? Uh, did we forget something? Everything seems fine. Let's open a terminal and enter the darknet. In here before I already made it work. This is simply you are uh, making a comment like this. I also take this comment from somewhere. This is the one working one. And you are just giving the configuration file which is this one. The path of that after detector and train and you giving the data path and darknet is using these two files when i started hmm, let's start it it's starting like this and it's going to it continues like this let's see the next step if it crash we see together also and as i said this will take long time i will make it uh, stop now let me stop okay because already i'm before did it in my computer so i just cut it in here but in your case it will continue okay as a result this is my results by the way these files i just copied here but normally it will be come up to here but now i just uh, take them to here first file in your here will be this one which is backup file after this by one by this will come up this will come up this will come up and this will come up in my case uh, you can check my uh, hardware capability in my previous videos how it looks like and these files at all I get in three hours maybe in three hours I get and it's suggested after this um, wait file after the fourth iteration it's not suggested to continue because uh, the others looks like memorizing anymore the data set so no need to go forward I suggest you also to stop here this is mostly in my experiences I get the best results in this wait file and I'm mostly using this uh, I think I talked about everything and I showed how to get uh, the wait files and I will copy paste 
this uh, command to do uh, about getting that convolution network file and this comment to the descriptions and I also will share this configuration file and data file in my github most probably and in the next video I will shortly show how to use these weight files in the C++ code so for